All right, hello guys, welcome back to another video. So today I wanted to come on here to talk about Twitch because recently a video has gone viral from a Twitch live stream. And this clip that has gone viral from this live stream after viewing it has me wondering something. I just happen to be wondering, how do people get away with doing this over on Twitch when it's like I thought Twitch was one of the most sensitive platforms out there? Like I remember that one time back in 2020 when you weren't allowed to say simp, incel, or virgin for whatever reason or else you would get banned from the platform. Now I'm not sure if it's still like that. That, but if saying those three words still happens to be against the Twitch TOS and they allow what we're about to talk about on their platform, I don't know, man. It just seems really pathetic to not allow people to use these three words that aren't even really that bad while you allow and are totally fine with women being shirtless on stream showing almost all of their breasts except for the nipple. Now, the reason why this is a big issue and why Twitch viewers and other creators are baffled by this is because how is this not violating Twitch's sexual content policy when literally? Literally, you can see all of the breasts sagging down. And I know this might not be inherently like just totally sexual content in nature, but like obviously the streamer, the reason why the streamer has their shirt off is not because, oh, they were hot and they were burning up in their room or something or that, oh, they wanted to show off their muscles or something. Like, no, that is definitely not the case, at least as far as I'm aware, because I mean, I don't know, man, you're just showing off the wrong part of the body and your title is literally 18 plus AI gamer GF. Like if this stream isn't meant to be like softcore porn, I don't know what is because there are definitely ways that you can show off your body without just flat out having your shirt off showing everything you have and it's like you know I don't really have a problem with like you wanting to show off your body and whatnot but like at least cover it up a little bit and I mean you're on Twitch you're live streaming to people somehow getting around the guidelines because this is not allowed on Twitch as far as I'm aware because they do have a policy regarding this type of content and this content isn't even allowed on the platform like let's just take a look at the community guidelines right here all right so we're here at Twitch's community guidelines and we have the sexual suggestive content policy or guideline whatever you want to call it um to ensure content on twitch is appropriate for diverse audiences sexually uh, suggestive content is prohibited on twitch evaluations on the sexual suggestiveness of a behavior or activity are independent of the, the user attire and are instead based on the overall surrounding framing and context well i mean in this case i mean did you see like the screenshot that i showed you guys like like how is that not sexually suggestive content i mean it literally just shows like everything except for like the nipple i mean you can see it sagging and everything and whatnot for example you may not engage in content warning content or camera focus on breast buttocks or pelvic region including poses that deliberately highlight these elements. Groping or explicit gestures directed towards breasts, buttocks, or genitals, uh, fetishing behavior or activity, such as focusing on body parts for sexual gratification or erotic play, uh, role play, featuring sex toys in context unrelated to sexual education, erotic dances such as uh, those involving stripping or flashing, pole dances or acrobatics with sexually suggestive framing, posting, displaying, or sharing erotica, including detailed descriptions of sex acts, or pornography. So I would like to say for most community guidelines for these platforms like YouTube, Twitch, maybe even Instagram, they give you examples of what can be sexually suggestive content, but they don't necessarily put like all of the uh, examples of sexually suggestive content because sure, she isn't really violating Twitch's community guidelines under these examples. But I mean, if you look at this for a second and you tell me this is not sexually suggestive content, like you're obviously lying because you can't tell me that this is not sexually suggestive content when the stream literally has this title that you see right here and she has her shirt off no bra on or anything and you can literally see it sagging on the camera like this is why people are so baffled about this is because how can people keep getting away with this on top of the hot tub streams when others will get banned for the most stupidest reasons over on twitch because i mean overall with this whole situation this really isn't the streamer's fault to a certain extent i mean i would say it is a little bit because you know they're breaking the rules but at the same time twitch doesn't really want to enforce their community guidelines on on this person for some reason and it's really weird it's almost as if this person is being protected by twitch or something because this user is blatantly violating the community guidelines of twitch and they're not being taken down or having any action being taken against them now at this point in the video i wanted to talk about twitch's double standard because i've been sort of hinting at the fact that like twitch has a double standard when it comes down to this stuff and enforcing their community guidelines and their policies because i mean as you guys see right here they're not taking action they're not taking down this twitch channel that is blatantly violating the community guidelines and doing something that you shouldn't be doing on Twitch according to their policies and is still up and is streaming at this moment as we speak. Now the double standard comes in when you allow this to happen on your platform when it is clearly against the guidelines that you set up yourselves but then you go on to take action against creators who have done far less and you'll permanently ban them from your platform for some really petty bullshit. Like I remember when Gideon got banned from Twitch right and he's still banned to this day and the reason why he got banned was because he went into 
Pokimane's chat while he was on stream and he got his audience to spam like L or something in the chat. Like that's all he did. It was that simple. And he got banned indefinitely from their platform in which Twitch claimed it was a hate raid when it simply was not. It was just a troll. It was just something he did to troll the other streamer that he had beef with at the time, which happened to be Pokimane. And he got indefinitely banned for hate raiding. That's what Twitch called it. Like I just find it to be so crazy that Twitch would ban Gideon for something that stupid, let alone that the ban was indefinite, but for some reason they haven't done anything about this person who is clearly violating the community guidelines on their platform under the sexually suggestive content policy when I feel like that's a more significant issue. Now that simply is just my opinion, but which one sounds worse to you guys in the comments? Gideon going into somebody else's chat with his audience of like, I don't even know, let's say 20,000 people, and spamming something as simple as an L in the chat to troll another streamer while he was live? Or do you think going practically naked on stream, showing your breast on camera, except for maybe the nipple part, with a title that says 18 plus AI gamer GF, like which one do you guys think is worse? And which one do you guys think is more of an issue to the platform? Well, I can tell you guys right now, I do not think Gideon spamming L with his audience in somebody else's chat while he's live, even if he had like 10, 20,000 viewers, 30,000, 40, I don't even know, 100,000, man, is the biggest issue out there. Or even really that big of a problem. I guess you could consider what he did as like a form of harassment if you cared enough to take him down but i don't think he should get an indefinite ban for that but how come you're not going to take action against somebody who is clearly violating your sexual content policy i mean at least ban her for like seven days like it doesn't have to be indefinite or anything like that but i mean at least do something like make it clear to people that this is not something that you want on your platform because i mean right now this makes it look like you want this on your platform which you probably do but at the same time just imagine here for a second because this sort of just shows that they like sexual content on their platform. I mean, it's not like 100% confirmed, but it does sort of suggest that they do because they're not taking it down. Like, just imagine for a second, all right? A guy goes on to stream and he's thinking, hey, I want to get in on this content because it looks like it pulls a lot of viewers on it and it looks really easy to do. Now, of course, he doesn't have what a woman has, but he definitely has something in between his legs, all right? So he's like, hey, I'm, I'm going to use my parts, my special parts to make me a little bit of extra money. So you know what he does? He goes on to stream and because he can't show you know the full body part because he definitely would get taken down doing that he would just show a little bit of like his balls and his pubic hair all right and you know this wouldn't really be like the main focus of the stream like he would be playing a game while he was doing this but i can tell you right now if any man were to do that for even like a millisecond on stream that would be an instant perma ban like i just know it would be because i don't know man it just looks like twitch really has a thing for these women on their platform who are half naked and doing softcore porn like it's clearly just obvious after like the other people on the platform they'll do something that is really minor i guess you could say compared to doing something like this and then they'll get banned from the platform indefinitely and it just doesn't make any sense to me and it clearly shows a double standard because once again if a man made sexual suggestive content here on twitch in any way i 100 believe that that person will get banned indefinitely while content like this exists on the platform and okay i'll be honest i really don't have a problem with this content being on twitch and if they were to take away their their sexual suggestive content policy and they were to allow more of this from both genders like i would be totally fine with it i would have nothing against it and whatnot but the moment you start allowing people to do this content when it's like you already have a guideline that specifically prohibits people from doing this and you allow people to get away with doing it it just really starts to piss people off because it's like these people can get away with breaking the community guidelines but when jideon does something so small he gets indefinitely banned like it's stupid it's actually dumb and this is another reason why I'm not going to be streaming on Twitch because it's like you never know when you're going to get beamed off the platform for something stupid and something so small when people can do things like this and get away with it when they're in clear violation of the community guidelines like they're so inconsistent with their rules and their guidelines and I really wish they were better but I mean I really don't know if that's going to happen anytime soon but I guess anyways I think I'm going to wrap up the video right there thank you guys so much for watching this video if you happen to enjoy this video make sure you like and subscribe because doing so will help it in the algorithm so more people will see the video if you got any questions comments concerns or opinions about anything make sure you leave a comment down in the comment section down below and my name is brion and i will see you in my next video peace